tonight, who is one of the hardest working people in our community. Plus, when and where was the hayride scandal? And how fast can you go from the farmer's market to the dinner table? Then, fashion for a cause? Come to our center and we support them so they know they're not alone. Your last entertainment fix for the year. Dehydrate. We'll fix that. We can help that. This is My Scene TV. Bring you the latest in all things entertainment right here in the capital city and a few other places around the world. He's Javon H. and I am wearing a bow tie. This is the mid-season finale of My Scene TV. You know I've been working in television for about four years and in that short time I've come to meet some of the best people who are really doing things both in and for the community. That's why we start with the legendary Rebecca White, Yelp.com community manager and networking extraordinaire in our first segment. This is My Scene TV. Ebos in Denham Springs, yay! <laughs> I am Rebecca White. I work for Yelp.com and I'm the Baton Rouge Community Manager. Yelp is a social media site. Uh, they are known for reviews that are um, you know, written for local businesses and just basically any business out there you know that people would like to share their thoughts and their opinions with I took this job because I was just really interested in the scope of you know the the job itself and just like working with the community just because I've already done so much of that and I'm always interested in supporting local business and when I found out that the job is all about supporting local businesses and business owners and working with the community, I just like, I fell in love with it and I really wanted to join the organization. A community manager is basically, you know, has community in it. So we're all about community and working directly with business owners and, you know, also welcoming those in the, in the community that write reviews for Yelp and basically, you know, are also supporting local businesses. So the Yelp community, we have a lot of, um, you know, the Yelp elites. So our elites are basically our tastemakers. They're the ones that are, you know, always like sharing their thoughts on our site and, you know, just have that passion for community and local businesses. And whenever we do events, we're always about having them at local businesses and those Yelpers and those elites like sharing their experiences about how what they experience from that business so it's it's just all about again giving back to the community and like you know sharing on social media and just and and working with that business to show them how much this community ha is passionate about them so official Yelp events are usually organized by the Yelp community manager, which is myself. And um, so we have also unofficial Yelp events that are put on by other Yelpers in the community that just like want to throw an event and they just want to have a party. In this case, it's a going away party. So we brought in some like people who, you know, who are other Yelpers, other Yelp elites, and you know, just other people from the community that he's friends with. Doesn't necessarily have to be people from Yelp. Um, and you know, we're not always like talking about Yelp either. It's just, you know, sharing community again going back to supporting the local business Yelp elites like at very exclusive events where you know they're events that are exclusively for them and they're plus ones sometimes and you know they just get more of like a closer experience with the business and also like the Yelp app the, mo the mobile app offers like so many like check-in offers and deals and things like that um, that people can access if they have the mobile app and like or are connected on the website a lot of people associate us with food events and like you know just food in general just because there's a lot of food reviews that are written but you know we do a lot of events um, that are non-food related too like we have a Yelp Fit Club event where people are gonna get to experience you know different like fitness uh, regimens and stuff and they get to try that out and you know work with like um, you know 
uh, wellness specialists and you know and just you know go and have go and have some fun you know do something physical like some physical activity which is a lot different than like your normal like you know eating events so it's it's we try to give our events a different spin each time we do something um, myself, I'm actually on Yelp, so if you go on to, like, just if you look up local businesses that are on Yelp, you'll probably see that I've reviewed them. Um, you can look me up, I'm Rebecca W on Yelp, and uh, I can also be reached at batonrouge at yelp.com if you have any questions about, about anything, about the community. We have a talk thread on, um, on our Yelp, uh, on yelp.com for Baton Rouge specifically. There's an event page on there where we basically want you to be interacting with the community using our site, just because there's so many tools on there that allow the community to just fully immerse themselves into what Yelp is about. I'm Rebecca White with Yelp Community Manager, and this is My Scene TV. That was Rebecca White for Yelp.com, and you can follow her team across the entire capital city as well as keep up with their latest events on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Yelp and Rouge. Now, it wouldn't be the holiday season without a little booze and a little bit of scandal as you go for whiskey cocktails at the newly opened Hayride Scandal. This is My Scene TV. We'll be right back in two minutes with Five Nichols. Special thanks to Simple Joe taking simple, honest ingredients and making them better for you. Capital City Grill, fresh, exciting, and atmospheric dining for downtown Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Formerly the site of Lock and Key, Hayride Scandal is one of the latest cocktail establishments here in the Baton Rouge. And this one takes you straight into the 1940s, you know, during the peak of the Louisiana political scandals, with their potent potables and some historical facts mixed in. So we spoke to co-owner Rob Powell and noted bar chef Bree Frederick about their one-of-a-kind concept in this drink set. So, um, with all the, excuse me, what's cracking? With all of the, uh, <laughs> Dehydration. Uh, with, uh, with we'll all fix that. that. We can help that. <laughs> Very simple fix. <laughs> I'm Rob Powell. I'm Bree Frederick. We're with Hayride Scandal. Hayride Scandal is a comfortable place to come and have a quality cocktail experience. Uh, we serve whiskeys and uh, unique craft cocktails that you probably won't find anywhere else and we're quite proud of it. So we invite as many people as possible to come on over and experience this. We're right off College Drive and Corporate. Fantastic location. We have a lot of traffic out in front of us. It's an easy turn off the interstate, so instead of sitting in traffic, it's much better to spend your time here. Yeah, we absolutely have a lot of customers that come in and say, I'd rather sit here and have a cocktail than sit in traffic on my way home. When I first started here, I was ultimately put in charge of ordering right away. Um, I have a craft cocktail experience, uh, which allowed me that knowledge base to be able to really fill this bar with things that the previous bar didn't have. This previously was Lock and Key, uh, which was known as a whiskey and scotch bar, ultimately. Since we've opened, I've added gin, barrel-aged gin, rum, tequila, mezcal, amaros, basic stuff, vodka you know, uh, that wasn't here previously. So when people come in, it's one of those situations where you can come in, just tell us what you want. Tell us the, the flavors that you want, uh, your sweetness level, and ultimately every bartender here can make you anything within those parameters. One of our cocktails that we feature and has been featured previously is a Smooth Criminal. Our base spirits are going to be Scotch and Irish Whiskey. I chose to use Glenfiddich 12 here, half ounce, ounce of Jameson. Created a house-made saffron black pepper simple syrup. So we're going to do a half ounce of that. Half ounce of Carpano Antica, which is kind of a sweeter version of a of French sweet vermouth. Three dashes of orange bitters. Go 
going to shake in double strain. Our glassware that we carry here are the classic Nick and Nora's. This is a six ounce Nick and Nora glass. This includes a lemon peel garnish. Make sure that you express over the top of the cocktail because that's the important part. And you have a smooth kernel. Like I said before, ingredients that you wouldn't normally put together, but it drinks incredibly smooth. Also, I'm a big Michael Jackson fan, and Smooth Criminal is a title of a Michael Jackson song. So. This is one of our uh, latest little uh, uh, details that we have here. This is, um, it's called What a Scandal. This is our newspaper. It's also our menu. So if you go back in the days of Blaze Star, Huey Long, Earl Long, all of those, and even further back into the true scandals um, of the Hayride, uh, you'll see that reflected within your experience here, with the uh, items we have uh, sitting around on the tabletops and uh, hanging on the walls as well. We respect highly all the uh, service industry people and, and um, uh, first responders as well. And what they get when they come in here is they get one of these skeleton keys. This is our way of giving a service industry discount. It's part of our uh, service to, um, to the market, and uh, this has gone off quite well. All over social media. Facebook, Instagram. You pick one. Yeah. And we're, we're on it. Snapchat. Yeah. Of course, we have a website. And if you come in, yeah. you can get on our email club, and we'll keep you up to date on a regular basis with that as well. I'm Rob Powell. I'm Bree Frederick. We're with Hayride Scandal. And this is My Scene TV. You know, I try to capture my segments as best as possible, but Hayride Scandal is one of those places that you have to physically really go to as no amount of pictures or video can capture the true experience and expertise within. So special thanks to the entire staff at Hayride Scandal on Corporate and College. And to learn more about their specials and events, check them out on Facebook.com slash Hey Ride Scandal. Next, we explore the global flavors of Kocha right in the heart of downtown Baton Rouge. Stay tuned. Special thanks to Atomic Pop Shop. Tape, vinyl, and vintage audio equipment for your capital city needs. Capital City Grill, fresh, exciting, and atmospheric dining for downtown Baton Rouge, Louisiana. We are always here for the latest culinary trends in the capital city, and the global flavors of Cocha are no exception. Enrique Piñerua speaks with our Angela Francis about their organic fare, their West Coast vibe, and the meaning of the name Cocha in this next segment. Scene TV. We're downtown Baton Rouge at restaurant and bar Kocha. This is a great place, great atmosphere, real LA vibe. We're here with owner Enrique. Tell us a little bit about what brought you to Baton Rouge. Well, uh, initially uh, my wife is from here, from uh, Baton Rouge. We were living in Los Angeles at the time and uh, we initially met uh, working at a restaurant for Paul Fleming. Three years ago we decided that we wanted to change and Saskia always had in the back of her mind that she wanted to open up a restaurant. So this was a natural progression. We came here, uh, really loved the people, uh, and we found this place, uh, so here we are. And uh, we are doing the whole farm to table organic when we can find organic produce here at the farmer's market with our friends. And uh, we're moving with the seasons also, so we want to take our 12 favorite dishes from the three menus and pair them up with some global inspired wines. Who does the pairings? Well, uh, the, my wife and uh, Chef Jordan are really 
the creative uh, minds behind it. So uh, once we have the menu set up, uh, Saskia is going to come in and find some great pairings from all over the world to uh, give people here something they've never had, hopefully. Now I'll tell you what really draws me into your restaurant is the drink menu, the fantastic drink menu. Where does this come from? So we started interviewing and we found our head bartender and manager, Nick Siracusa. I'm so excited about trying new drinks tonight. That's what really, like I said, drew me in. But also, not only that, but the fare is, but your food is so light and yeah. fresh. I really enjoyed it for lunch. Tell me how people can get in touch with you. Well, the best way to get in touch with us is uh, we have a website, so it's www.coachabr.com. We are in uh, Facebook at Coachabr, and then we also are using Instagram at Coacha underscore BR. The atmosphere here at Coacha is beautiful. The people here are beautiful. It's a great location. We're open seven days a week here. Six. Six Six yeah. days a week. We're, uh, the, the only day that we're closed is on Tuesdays. And a lot of people ask us why Tuesday. And uh, the, uh, a lot of the restaurants here in downtown are closed on Monday. So we decided to fill that void. And it's been working out really well. Now tell me how you found the name. I'm very interested in how you came up with the name Kocha. So one day having a glass of wine at the porch in our house, I, I asked her, I said, hey Kocha, can you pass my glass of wine? And she said, that's it. <laughs> and I go, what? says that's a name and so that's how Cocha came about it's an endearing term that in Spanish means uh, honey or deer so and it's Saskia so match made in heaven match made in heaven thank you for sharing with us we're gonna get down to some food and some drinks in a minute downtown Cocha my scene TV from the Main Street market to your table paired with a fine selection of wines their Kocha on 6th Street. And to see their menu or to make a reservation, go to KochaBR, C-O-C-H-A-B-R dot com. Next is Glamour for a cause and designing for disabilities. Latangela Faye has that. But in the meantime, I encourage you to follow us across our various social media sites. This is My Scene TV. Jude Falcon here. Normally when you see me on the screen, I'm telling you about things that you can do and find in Southeast Asia. But at the moment, we're going to talk about shopping local and buying local. Because we here at Myasim TV want to keep the integrity and the view and the look and the things that we love about Louisiana. And we cannot do that if you don't shop local. So please, go out, go to your neighborhood restaurant, neighborhood bar. Maybe you find a brand new friend, someone you never even knew existed in your own city. So please, from all of us here at Myasim TV, shop local and support your local business. Helping Families is a premier support group for the disabled in the capital city. And they held their Designing for Disabilities fashion show on LSU campus. And Latangela Faye spoke with organizers to learn more about the event and its cause in this last segment. What you say, nah? It's your girl, Latangela Faye, with My Scene TV. And today, we have made this amazing field trip on the beautiful campus of LSU. As you've seen, we have lovely decoration, not just the Christmas trees, but I'm talking about some awesome designs from some very fashionable young individuals and those with a heart 
of compassion. Now, when I tell you I'm standing next to the glam girl diva herself, now I understand for the past 12 years you've been the executive director. Tell us a little bit about your organization and the event today. So we are a family resource center for people with disabilities and their family members. So any disability, any age whatsoever, come to our center and we support them so they know they're not alone. Um, also, you know, empower them with the knowledge of what their rights are as, as parents or individuals with disabilities and also how to navigate the maze of services that are in the state of Louisiana. And with the organization Family Helping Families, tell us how we as a whole, the community, how is it that we can be more involved and what are some of the challenges that we can help you overcome on a day-to-day -day basis? Um, on a day-to-day -day basis, challenges, let's see, uh, we love volunteers. Okay. We have so many events. You can actually go to our website at fhfgbr.org and you can see our calendar of events never ending, so much to do, so many fun things to do and ways to learn. So volunteers are always a big thing. So we think that's really huge because I think uh, being a parent myself of a child with a disability, you know, there's just so many costs and, and some hardships involved. But I gotta tell you, uh, nobody said it better than Troy Lee a while ago. Don't feel sorry for us. We are empowered. We are strong families. We're resilient and uh, we want to help other families who may not have had the resources or know how to access the resources that are out there for them. So let us lift others up there in our situation. Definitely, family helping families, a staple right here in our community. And for all the details, I want you to log on and check it out. My Scene TV, making a field trip with great people doing great things. I'm Latangela Faye and you keep it locked right here. We're here at this wonderful event, uh, representing families, helping families, a fundraiser for them. The lady to my left, Troy Roberson Lee, is the coordinator of this wonderful event. She has two children who have high function in autism and she never let anything get in her way or deter her from helping her children to develop into fruitful members of society today, as you heard her talk about. But we want to hear a little bit more about what's the plans for this event, how did you prepare for it, what made you do it, and then what you plan on doing in the future. Well, what I wanted to do was do an all-inclusive event, fashion show, I decided to do that we can include all people, all races, all sizes, all disabilities. And I wanted to more than focus on disability part, but the ability of individuals. And I think we just kind of get excluded from events and things like this. So I wanted to show people that we can do, our children, our sisters, brothers, you know, whomever, can do it just like anybody else. So we just wanted to make it fun. We wanted to raise funds and awareness about abilities and the organization Families Helping Families. You are a model for people and to tell them don't give up on your child mm -hmm. or don't give up on someone you love. That's correct. It's true. Keep on yeah. fighting until you find something that can help them. That's correct. That's and correct. now just briefly, what are your, both your children doing? One's a jewelry designer. Yes. Uh, one is a jewelry designer. She's graduated from high and, school. And did she um, yes. make yes. your earrings yes. and, and your necklace? Yes. 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 Um, she graduated from high school. She immediately get, got into jewelry design and my son, who is now 18, my daughter is 20, uh -huh. and my son is 18, and he's a photographer. He edits, he does film, so he- I know you all have made some documentaries together. Correct, we have, and, stuff, and they're all self-taught. I've never taken them to any type of training, right. so they've done it. Just creative abilities, so don't give up. Drawing attention to the needs of the disabled in our community with the spotlight on fashion as well. That was designing for disabilities. And to learn more or to possibly get involved with families helping families, go to fhfgbr.com. They're doing great things over there. But now it's time to grab your phones, grab your MacBooks, grab your TVs because it is social media time. That's right, you can check us out at mycntv.com, our social media hub and live stream on Facebook. Pictures in and around the Baton Rouge area on Instagram, full episodes, and these segments on YouTube. We also have a Twitter and a MySpace floating around somewhere. And programming reminder, we come on WBSH Channel 16. That's Cox and Etel Channel 16. Channel 39 on Dish Network, Uverse and Antenna. For the sake of repetition, we are not available on DirecTV. And shout out to Travis Robertson of Bad Boy Bow Ties for this handmade brush stroke tie. Visit his shop on Etsy and also follow his blog, Bad Boy Bow Ties, on blogspot.com. We're gonna close out with some of the holiday, holiday lights, holiday lights of our great city. And until next year, we return with the latest food, music, and fun that you want to know about. He's Javon H, and this is my Scene TV. <laughs>